Hi, this is Sarah and welcome to Always Dolls. Today we are back with another 1920s inspired craft, sharing with you how to make your dolls a vintage style cash register. Leaked information suggests that American Girl's newbie forever doll, Claudie Jones, has a bakery as her big ticket item. So let's get creative, turning recycled paperboard into an old fashioned cash register, perfect for this era. And best of all, it really works, using a hidden spring door function to access the money in the drawer. If you enjoy our videos, we'd love it if you hit that like button and subscribe so you never miss a new doll DIY. Okay, let's get making! For this craft, we recycled the paperboard from a large cereal box. Here, we drew a cash register template. You can find a link to this in the description below. Cut out the register shape Fold under the tab strip and align the edge of the front panel with the established crease in your cereal box. Trace the template, then flip over, matching the edge with the other crease to trace the second side. Next, cut away all the notches from the tab strip. Trace them onto your paperboard and cut out. You also want to cut out the window areas. Now pre-fold all your tabs for easier assembly later. You can stop here and paint your register or take more paperboard to make old-fashioned decals. We researched simple art deco designs and also referenced images from American Girl's ice cream parlor register. First, trace the required part of the template. Mark then cut away a thin border piece. Cut the remaining portion into smaller pieces so you can draw and cut out shapes of your choice. We used an X-Acto knife for this step. Here we have abstract diamonds, a starburst, V-shapes and rectangles in varying thickness. Yours can be as simple or ornate as you like. Now paint the outside and top inside section of the register silver. Adhere double-sided tape around both window areas to affix clear packaging for faux glass. Before installing the back window, take a regular stationary punch to make a central hole in preparation for the sliding draw mechanism. For the till buttons, we chose to use black push pins. We inserted four keys on the top row and five below. Secure them on the underside of the paperboard with drops of hot glue. Cut a rectangle for the bottom of the till. The exact width of yours will depend on the width between the creases in your cereal box. Also cut eight slightly thinner rectangles for the base. Cut a 4 by one centimeter slot from the centre of 6 pieces and punch a centre hole along the back edge of another. So far you should have a full rectangle, one with the hole, four with slots and two pieces with one centimeter trimmed off the back edge. Stack and glue them together in that order to get a sturdy base piece. The concept of a spring-loaded cash drawer came from watching Steve at Cryptic Woodworks I have put a few links to his videos in the description below. Using the cutouts from the base piece, we can make the catcher element. Stack and glue four layers together, making sure to crease the left end at one centimeter so the catcher lifts up and down. On the opposite end, measure in 1.5 centimeters and block this area out. Now adhere to one centimeter squares up against your shaded section. This will enable the catcher to catch the drawer and keep it shut. The spring is harvested from an old click pen and cut in half to better fit our doll scale. Affix into the circle recess with a strong glue like Uhu or E6000. Flip over the catcher and apply glue to the hinged end only, then place it into the slot. From thick 10 mm foam board, we cut the stopper piece. This will hold the pin that activates the drawer. We also used hair clips for a mini flat spring that will help force the drawer out. You need two of the center prongs. Glue them recessed into the foam board as seen on screen. Owls have to overlap so they will fit inside the register. Attach the stopper to the back of the base. Test the placement of the pin to ensure it compresses the spring under the catcher element. Let's make the cash drawer. The rectangle must be shorter and thinner than the dimensions of your base piece. Cut a 2cm wide strip of paperboard for the walls, adhering via the tabs to the rectangle drawer. It's optional, but you can affix dividing pieces into the drawer to give you a separate area for notes and coins. 
Paint the drawer black, then add the front. Ours is three layers of paperboard thick and painted silver to match the cash register. On the underside, adhere a strip of half centimetre wide paperboard, creating a lip that will hook onto the catcher to keep the drawer shut. For a permanent cash transaction, we pegged two skinny sticks into the foam board stopper, then wrote the dollar and cent values with black pen on small pieces of white cardstock. Everything is ready, time to assemble the register. Start by adhering the edge of your base piece to one of the side walls. Slip the pin through the hole you punched at the top earlier. Then fold over and glue the opposite wall down. Close the back of the register by inserting the tabs. Repeat for the front of the register, starting at the window tabs and gently bending the paperboard to form the curved silhouette iconic to the era. Affix the bottom piece, then insert the drawer. Here we shortened the top of the pin and painted it black to better blend in. Visually, our cash register looks great with that distinctive shape and lots of ornate decal. But even better, the cash drawer really functions. It will make a great addition to Claudie's Bakery or any shop setup. Thanks again for stopping by and see you soon for more miniature crafting fun.